So here we are on the Ushuaia. We're still in the middle of the Drake Passage. And we're not allowed outside at the moment because the weather is too rough and we could fall overboard. Here's our big common room, which is where we hang out most of the time. Coming up on our first iceberg. Our first Okay, this is our fourth morning on the boat and it's pretty typical out there, Antarctic day, it's minus one degree, so not very cold and we've got, we're allowed out now because the sea is calm, so I'm going to take you outside. This is pretty typical views of what we've had so far. Last night we had humpback whales all around the boat, at least eight individuals. Everyone's geared up to go outside, we're all very excited. I'm coming ashore. They come here, they come. You can see I'm not I'm not particularly wrapped up. That's because I'm only going to be out for a couple of minutes to to do this video, and also it's it's only zero degrees. <laughs> it hasn't been really 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 cold. Uh, I wouldn't stay out very long like this. But uh, yeah, so there you go. There's our beautiful scenery. That's the Antarctic continent of the Antarctic Peninsula, and you can see it is almost entirely covered in snow and ice and glaciers. This is the ice cube that's at the bottom of the world that. This is me all dressed up with no place to go. We had to cancel our landing today because the ice conditions changed. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the problem was, but maybe the Zodiacs couldn't safely get to shore. So instead of going on a landing today, we are going to do just little tours around the bay in Zodiacs. So they can't take everybody out at the same time. There's not enough space and I'm having to wait my turn. I'm in the second group. So I thought I would take you on a tour around the boat. The weather conditions have changed. You can see we're no longer in blue skies. It is quite overcast and gray. That's a big, a big glacier you can see behind me there. Sometimes we hear the glaciers moving or calving. It sounds like thunder and you can feel it in your feet. It is day 13 of our trip and we are sort of more than halfway through now only a week left to go we're currently passing through this 
you can see behind me, this, it's a narrow channel and the water is glassy, glassy smooth. It's also really warm today, it's three degrees, so crazy warm. <laughs> I'm gonna take you on a tour of where we're at. We passed our, hello, hi baby. <laughs> We passed our furthest south point a few days ago and our way was blocked by ice and we couldn't continue further. So we've been heading back north and trying to find some alternate landing spaces which are ice free. So we're about to start our work for the day, but everyone's getting a last chance to look at the scenery and enjoy some fresh air before we go back into our very crowded and chaotic and stuffy classroom to do our work, which we're spending four or five hours a day in there Doing work, we're working very, very hard because we have, of course, a lot to, lot to learn. But there you go, that's where we are this morning. It doesn't get much, much better than this. It's very hard to concentrate on schoolwork or studying and workshops when you essentially have Narnia outside the windows. So this is our farewell to the Antarctic continent. We are having to race north now, ahead of some storms on the Drake Passage. So we're in for a real Drake shake. There are two low pressure systems heading our way for the, on the Drake Passage. So on the way down, we were told that our crossing was about a two out of 10. This time we're expecting five or six out of 10 for the crossing. And the, if you recall, the two out of 10 was enough to shake us around in our beds. So we've now been advised that what we need to do is put our life vests under our mattress to tip it on an angle, to wedge us against the wall, to stop us from being thrown around in the night. So everybody's feeling a little bit trepidatious. We've had a bit of a spontaneous dance party in the main lounge, as this is now gonna be our last night. So because tomorrow night we'll be in the middle of the Drake Passage, we've had to leave a little early to try and race the storms uh, and minimize our um, experience of the, of the big, big waves on the Drake Passage and the rolling. So there we go, that's our last views of the Antarctic continent. We have almost a sunset behind me. It's extremely beautiful. We've got icebergs happening as we head out toward the open channel. So it's been completely amazing. We've had some challenges with ice. We haven't been able to go as far south as we wanted or, or see all the places we wanted because they were iced in. Apparently this is a bad ice year. Some years are, Shackleton had a bad ice year, so this is something we, we share with him. Even though it's all over now, we've done as much as we can do and we've, we've worked really hard. We've met fabulous people. We've seen amazing scenery and we've learned tons. All we can hope is that what we've learned is enough because our cause is so urgent. Climate change is urgent and we have to persist and we have to be those stubborn optimists that think we can change the world. We have to get up every morning and go and fetch our rock and push it back up the hill no matter how many times we get pushed back down. And I hope that we're all ready to do this and that we can support each other through it. So goodbye Antarctica, you've been completely wonderful. I, I wonder if I will ever see you again or if I will get to come again and I hope that we all make it through the Drake Passage. It's going to be rough. We're going to be confined to our quarters probably. It's going to be difficult to serve meals. People are going to be very, very unwell, um, but I'm sure we'll all come through and I will see you on the other side.
Egyptian island. So we've left the Antarctic Peninsula. We are heading north. On the way, we're stopping at Deception Island, which is a collapsed caldera volcano for a swim of all things. Today is the Polar Plunge Day. To do a polar plunge, and we have penguins as company on the shore. This is quite amazing. This is polar plunge. This is how it goes.